On Monday, 20-year-old rapper XXXDTACO was shot dead in Miami. Speculation has been mounting that he had predicted his death and reports came out claiming that XXXDTACO wanted to die young, and everyone has questions. The late rapper's representation has now released a statement. XXXDTACO's team released a statement to Entertainment Tonight. On June 18, 2018, Gisela Froy known worldwide as XXXDTACO tragically passed away from a gunshot wound in Deerfield, Florida, the statement begins. As you may remember, the 20-year-old rapper was leaving a motorcycle dealer when a gunman ran up to his vehicle and opened fire. It is with great sadness that the news is confirmed in this official statement by his team, the statement continues. Manager Solomon Sobard, Empire, Bob Celesti, Esquire and AKWPR. That's very formal, but important, though this had already been reported by reputable sources and confirmed by local police. The statement then goes on to make a request. In deference to his family, friends, and loved ones and in light of further investigation, the statement asks. This part is standard when a celebrity dies. The statement continues, we ask that their privacy be respected at this time. That is absolutely right. Whatever you may have thought of XXXDTACO himself, there were people who cared about him who are miserable right now. The statement continues, this time with a tribute to the rapper's memory. XXXDTACO touched the lives of millions around the globe, the statement claims. He certainly had many fans. The statement says that the rapper connected with fans through music, and will forever reside in the hearts of countless fans who listened to his music. Sure. His music will be part of his legacy for as long as he is remembered. The statement says that this legacy will also apply to fans who attended his concerts, and felt the glow of his uncontainable, undeniable, and unique spirit. That part is a little flowery, but appropriate for the context. News about memorial services to be issued forthcoming, the statement concludes. XXXDTACO was a controversial figure, in life and in death. As you may have noticed from the two different mugshots in this post, he had multiple run-ins with the law during his 20 short years. The allegations of brutal domestic abuse against him were definitely a subject on the internet following the news of XXXDTACO being shot, and then again after it was confirmed that he was dead. Some people who were fans of the rapper despite the horrifying allegations expressed their grief on social media. Others were then shocked to see that they felt that way, because they were unwilling to shed a tear for a man accused of monstrous misdeeds. Fan culture can be complicated. How does one separate the art from the artist? Is it immoral to mourn a bad person? Those are not easy questions to answer and it seems unlikely that the world will ever agree any time soon. Those on both sides of the debate of how to respond to news of XXXDTACO's death can surely agree on one good cause. The rapper's ex-girlfriend, Geneva Ayala, whose serious facial injuries from a brutal alleged beating threaten even her eyesight, has a GoFundMe to help repair the damage to her face, skull, and eyes. Following the news of his death which was the first time that some people learned of the allegations against him that go back at least two years she received an influx of donations to her GoFundMe. While none of us should live in a world where vital healthcare should depend upon the generosity of strangers, this time, the strangers were very generous, and her page has now exceeded its goal. Be warned the images of her injuries are graphic. That is a very worthy cause that is getting some attention this week. However you may feel about XXXDTACO, it's good to channel those feelings into something good. And, of course, let his loved ones grieve without trying to invade their privacy.